Hello and welcome back to The Point of It All. Today we're looking at the Onyx Books Leaf 2 ebook reader. Now this looks a lot like the Amazon Kindle Oasis of old, uh, but it's got a few different things that they do differently. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the box and see how this thing reads. I've had a Kindle Oasis for a couple years now and for whatever reason, the latest Kindle update does not work with my Oasis. I mean, it did the update, but some of my books were not opened up anymore. Specifically, the books on the Amazon um, Kindle Unlimited app. They won't open up the newer books for some reason, and I don't know if I can fix that or not. So instead of buying another Amazon Kindle Oasis, I decided to go with a different brand, a brand that I'm not familiar with, the Onyx Books line that I've had a couple years now. I have the uh, Onyx Books Nova Air which is an ebook reader and a note-taking device. And I most recently got the Onyx Books Note Air 2 Plus, which is a 10.3 inch device that also reads books. But this is a dedicated e-reader without any inking capabilities whatsoever. So let's see what we get in the box. And there isn't a whole lot in here, um, but there doesn't need to be with an ebook reader. So you get the device itself. In the accessories panel, you get, um, you get a USB type A to C for data transport and charging. And you also get a SIM card or SIM pin removal uh, tool. And you need, you'll need that to open up the, uh, the uh, expanded memory tray, the SD cards uh, tray. So this does have expandable memory, okay? Um, I think it ships with 32 or 64 gigabytes already, but you can expand it, I believe, up to 512 gigabyte card easily. We're working this device. So this device doesn't have a whole lot to it. You've got your two speakers on the bottom for audiobooks here, here and here. You've got your charging port, which is USB-C. You've got your power button here. On the front of the panel, you've got your page up. I'm sorry, your page up, page down. I'm sorry. <laughs> page down buttons, page turn buttons here, and then backwards here. And you got the nice books logo here. Um, this is a very glossy device, so you will see fingerprints on the black sections especially. Not so much on the screen because it's white, but on the on the panel, the black panel sides, you will see a lot of fingerprints. I've had this for a couple weeks. You can see my fingerprints are all over it. And I've even tried to wipe it down, but it's you can just forget about it. Um, you're going to need a case for it. You can see here also where you would need that pin ejector tool. You would stick that right in there and then that memory card tray pops out right there, right, for your SIM card. I'm sorry, for your SD card. Let's pop this on and see what it does. Let's see how it reads books here. Power button is actually here in the top left. Let's hold that down there. Here we go. So uh, that's how you know it's turning on there. Takes a few seconds to boot up. Um, these e-ink devices don't have the fastest processors in them, but that's okay because you're only reading books, so it's not a really a major issue whatsoever. Let's get this booted up here. I just love the screen size. Uh, it fits in your back pocket if you want to. Fits in a gym bag or a backpack easily, or even your jacket breast pocket. There we go. So if you're familiar with the Onyx Books devices, you'll be right at home with this setup, with this screen setup. This is very similar to their other devices. Um, on the bottom left, you see your default uh, screen opening, your default screen startup page, which is the library, your ebook section. Let's open up a book here real quick. Now, with this device, you can also, of course, this is the Neo Reader. This is the app that comes with the device by default, and it's your default reading app. You can download more because you do have access to the uh, the um, Google Play Store. If you go through a few changes, not, not difficult, but it's kind of a pain in the butt, but not really. But once you enable the Play Store, you can access other e-reader apps as well. Um, but the Neo Reader, I prefer because it's already installed and ready to go. It's optimized for this device as well. And once you're in there, you can change the format size, you can change the font size, you can change, you know, the text. You can you can pretty much change any type of uh, text format you can do. You can you can change it within this device. You can change the pro, the, the uh, contrast, you can change the color. This guy has two different lights, amber and uh, blue, for warm and cool. And you can adjust them either separately or together to uh, get the perfect 
um, shade of uh, screen hue for you, right? Um, also, if you're, if you're familiar with the books apps, you'll notice that you have the movable ball there that pulls up some context sensitive menus as well, like a quick power button. Um, I don't see a screen grab, but I do see a sync button and you can actually sync this, uh, your reading place with other books devices as well. Um, Onyx gives you five gigabytes of storage space if you sign up and register your device through them. You get five gigabytes of storage space and that's a lot of space for bookmarks. If you take notes as well as read books, that might come in handy, but if you're only reading books, you're not gonna need five gigabytes of bookmarks. I'm just saying, that's a lot of reading. Um, what do I think about this device overall? I love it. I, I'm a big fan of the books line from Onyx anyway, right? I love their devices already. Um, but it's a wonderful Kindle replacement. You can see it's kind of shaped like a Kindle. It's got the longer edge on the left to hold it. And it's also oriented based on how you hold it as well. You can turn that on and off. So if you're right-handed and you flip it to the other side, you can use these page turn buttons as you would on the left side, right? And you can do that by going into the menu here, swipe down, and you can go into screen orientation, rotate, there we go. And you can turn auto rotate on, right? turn that off and now when I flip this over for right-handed view it changes and then my pages work just like that boom love this device really light lighter than my uh, Amazon Kindle by the way now I had a second generation Kindle I'm sorry Kindle Oasis rather lighter than my Kindle Oasis um, I do need to get a case for this though I should also point out that this device comes in two different colors, the black version that I have here and then the white version. And the only difference, they had the same price and everything, which is $199, but the only difference is that the white version doesn't have the glossy screen protector on screen protector on top. Um, it's got a it's got it's a device that has this the screen without the protector. So you might get a sharper image. You can see the you can see the shadow here slightly where the bezel is, you might get a sharper image, but your e-ink screen is exposed to scratches and da other damage. So for that reason, I chose the black version with the screen cover on it. Um, but again, they're the same price, so it's a matter of personal preference. So do I recommend this to anyone looking for a new ebook reader? If you already have an Amazon Kindle or an Oasis, I don't see a big reason to get this one other than the expandable storage maybe. Um, but if you're in the market for a new one and you don't have either of those devices, please consider giving Onyx Books some attention. Their devices have come a long way over the past few years and I can't speak highly enough, not just about this device, but about their entire product line of uh, e-ink de e devices in general. That's going to do it for this video review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of these devices that I've already reviewed or talked about, please leave them in the comments section. I'll get them get back to you as soon as I can. And with that being said, we are all set. Peace. I'm out.